Welcome back to another video here at Hostways Exotics. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, we got another sh snake unboxing for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Tell me what you think of the video down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. So I went out and purchased a new snake, guys, and it's right here in this box. So as you can tell, it says live animals. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see what we got going on right here. So this is another venomous reptile. Uh, I've been looking at one of these guys for a little while now, and they're probably one of my other favorite ones next to your rattlesnake. So let's go ahead and get started with some of this unboxing we got going on here. So. I already took the zip ties actually off this box. It was zip tied all the way around really well. So I'll give you guys a close up so that way you can see what this little guy is. So I already took the zip ties off. There were zip ties on the sides and on the front to make sure this thing is secure. We got our latch here on the front. And inside we got some paper here. So inside of this, we got our animal. As you can see, there's a bag inside of here with a zip tie. Uh, let's see, we'll take this out and we'll look around, make sure we don't have anything else in here. I'm pretty sure it should be good. Yeah, he's definitely in here. So I'm just gonna get this guy out of the way. And since he's in this bag, what we'll do is I will put him in this bucket so that way he can get out while I find something to cut this out with. All right, so I have to get this cut off of here. I believe this will get it. Cool. We got one open. And then we're going to grab about this end. And as you can see, this is double bagged. Trying to be careful as possible. Now, get the second one off. All right, guys, we are live. So at this point, what we need is some tongs here. We got my snake hook handy, and I got my tongs here. And we'll go ahead and pour this guy out of the bag. I'll let you guys get a good close up. So as you guys can see, I have a 
a red, yellow, and black snake. There's a little bit of water down there, so I think he's drinking. So if you guys don't know by now, this is a coral snake. A Micrurus fulvius. And this is one of the most venomous snakes here in North America. Very small, front fixed fanged, a lapid snake. It's one of the only lapid snakes here in actual North America. Now there's other variations of the coral snake. You have your Texas coral snake. This is the Eastern coral snake. And you also have your Sonoran Mountain coral snake. So this guy is extremely dangerous. If he was to bite you, you would. If he were to bite you, you would definitely need to go to the hospital to get checked out. But nevertheless, this is a very cool addition. It's one of the only, one of the few venomous snakes here in Georgia that we have. Uh, we're going to be start doing some more educational videos talking about these species, uh, since now that I have a few of them myself and I can actually talk about them now that we got some specimens we can look at. And we're going to be getting the microscope soon so we can look at some stuff, maybe at a microscopic level, look at some venom and different things that we can gather some safely from these guys and give you guys some real cool, interesting content. So I plan on definitely doing a lot with these guys. These are not just pets. These are definitely ambassadors for their species here for what I'm trying to do here at Hostways Exotics. And I hope you guys can really enjoy the new content and stuff that I got coming out soon with these creatures that I've got. But... This is definitely going to be a fan favorite. If you guys don't know, I still have my Pueblin milk snake. So we're going to be doing some comparison videos like that coming out soon. So you guys can really see the differences up close between like your coral snake as what we got here and your king snakes and your milk snakes and scarlet snakes and other mimicry species. snake and we're probably just going to just pour them in here it's probably it's going to be the best so we can get them in here safely i didn't mean to drop them so hard but good lord Let's see what we got in there Sorry, the glass is a little bit dirty. I just wiped it down. It's just some little bit of chemicals, a little leftover residue. I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna go straight under there and burrow. On this side of the tank, he's gonna have his heat mat and all that. These guys are more nocturnal than anything, so you don't really have to provide a basking light for them. I'm just gonna have a light here just to help provide daytime light. So that way you can know the difference between night and day, so it's not really a heat lamp or anything. So hopefully he has enough space that way he can crawl around, do his coral snake thing, whatever that may be. probably add them some more hiding spots because I know that they're uh, more fossorial creatures. They like to live underground, uh, live in leaf brush. So I'm going to get some leaves and throw in here. Give it some more of a brushy kind of look. Add some pine straw. See what happens. But yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. There's going to be more videos coming soon. This guy, I'm going to try to feed him, see if he takes some food. And then we'll go from there. So...